to those old allies whose cultural and spiritual origins we share, we pledge the loyalty of faithful friends. Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Mobile Mondays. For a while now, I've been looking for a way to get more videos out without cutting into the time I have to work on the videos I'm already making. Finding a balance between efficiency and creating quality content has been a real challenge for me. And sometimes I wonder if my videos aren't a bit too prepared and they might do a little bit better if they were more off the cuff. So the plan is to record these when I'm out running around or when I've got some time to kill while I'm traveling, things like that. And I've had tons of requests in the past, especially after my iPad setup video last year, to talk more about the apps I use on my iPad specifically, but other mobile apps that are available. And this will be where that's gonna happen. It's gonna be all mobile software, mobile devices, so things like this uh, Bear Dynamic USB-C microphone that I'm reviewing right now will probably end up in this type of video in the future. So nothing too prepared, just a little bit of a change of pace for my normal videos. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes, and I'd love to hear your suggestions down below as to what you'd like to see or apps you'd like to see me cover or talk about or try out. I'm definitely not only covering apps that I've used. This isn't, you know, just suggestions from me to what apps to use. I'd like to take the look at some apps that you use for the first time and take some real first looks at them. I don't just want to talk about the handful that work for what I do. So hit the comments down below and let me know what you want to see in this segment. So for the first video this week, we're going to look at an app that I've had on my various devices for a long time, it feels like. At least when I had my first iPad, this was like one of the first apps I think I downloaded. It's called Octave, Octave RTA, and it is by... So I'm kind of splitting screens here. In the store, Octave RTA from Onyx Apps is what we're looking at. It's $4.99. It's uh, billed as a real-time sound frequency analyzer. And right now it's got 4.3 uh, rating with 106 reviews. And that's as of August 2018. Now it is a paid app, but like I said, I've had this for a long time and I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of it. So let's run over the features on the actual app itself. First thing, getting the audio in. I'm using the built-in uh, iPad microphone. And if you had a measurement microphone connected up, either uh, one that plugged in directly to the lightning port or an actual audio interface with a traditional measurement microphone, uh, you could select that here. You have a uh, selection for gain and then the preferred sample rate. Right now it's set to 44.1, I imagine, because I am using the screen capture and that's what is driving the sample rate. If I go to prefer to 48, it's not allowing me to choose that in this app. So we'll leave it at 44.1, clear that warning, and that's fine. Over here in the top left, it's going to show us the peak band. Right now, it's pretty much just background noise, but you can see if I was to... 2000 hertz. Uh, now if I click on the little L, it puts a little label flag up and you can see uh, it'll just keep highlighting whatever the uh, the peak frequency is. So that can be really helpful for hunting down feedback and that's a lot of what I use this app for, just having it open when I'm ringing out something, a microphone for the first time and then also I might leave this open soloed on uh, either a group or the, the mix or an individual microphone in some cases. Down in the bottom left you've got basically stuff stop and go, they've labeled it record and pause. And then these selections along the bottom is where we get the rest of our settings. There's no other like settings page on this app. First one up here is octave. Right now it's set to full, so each one of these is showing us a full octave. Uh, after that, FFT size, I've got it set to 2048. The average, I've got it set to slow because uh, fast is just a little too hectic for my needs most of the time. And I just like the way slow works. Right now we're on bars for graph, but we can change that to a line graph as well, which is honestly what I use most of the time. And then peaks, you can leave it to off, auto, or hold. And I usually like to leave those on which is hold, so the peak holds where it was, so that way you can see what happened previously. So as a demonstration here, I'm going to turn on the air conditioner next to me and we're going to go through these settings to see what happens looking at the frequency that that air conditioner is running depending on how we have these set. All right, so air conditioning is completely for science on this one. It's not at all because it's hot in here. So right now, if I go and set this over here, we can look that our fundamental of that air conditioner is 250 hertz. But if I set the octave to a third, actually closer to 160, you can see it's pretty darn convinced that it's 160 hertz. If I go to a sixth of an octave, you see it's actually closer to 180. 
So air conditioners back off now, but you can see how that resolution can be helpful. You know, if you're working with a very rudimentary EQ and you're just looking for some rough help, a full octave could be useful. If you've only got high, mid, low, then it really doesn't matter how specific you get. If you've got a 31 band EQ, then a third of an octave is gonna match up slider for slider with what you've got to work with. And if that's it, that's just fine. And the one sixth of an octave, if you've got a parametric EQ and you've got the ability either on the channel level on your digital board or in the output level of a digital console to make finer adjustments than a 31 band graphic would allow, then this is where you want to be. So on the one sixth of an octave, for me, that's a little bit busy. So I tend to like to throw it over to the line graph. And then with the peak hold, it kind of gives you a nice idea of where those spikes have landed in the past. So I'll generally leave it on line graph as opposed to bar, and then I'll leave it either on one third or one sixth of an octave, depending on what I'm doing. The resolution of the data that you're seeing can be improved by turning up the FFT size. Uh, this will take more processing power. So I'll usually pick something in the middle. I'm not looking to uh, be super accurate. So that isn't so important to me at the cost of more processing power. I'd rather the app run uh, more efficiently, especially if I'm on battery. And I leave my peaks set to hold. You can turn them to auto if you want, and I believe they clear after a certain amount of time. So that's it. That's Octave RTA from Onyx. And if you've got any more questions about what it does, that button there just asks you if you want to review the app. That's pretty funny. So that's it for Octave RTA. Check it out. I don't have any affiliate links or anything for uh, mobile apps or software or any of that kind of stuff. So I'll just put the link down below to the iTunes store. So hit the comments below and let me know if you've ever used Octave. Uh, this is from Onyx again, and I don't know anything about their apps. They have a couple of other besides Octave. They have an LED audio spectrum visualizer. Uh, they've got an FFT plot, uh, real time, uh, something or other here. Let's see. This is a real time sound frequency analyzer, very highly rated and an oscilloscope. So we might have to, they've got a few other apps as well for iPhone and iPad. So we might have to look at those in the future. I don't know anything about any of those. So they have another spectrum analyzer app as well, a red one, uh, Ooh, $15. And that comes with, uh, looks like some other tools an FFT. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe some different features from the one we just looked at. It's kind of hard to tell. A lot of their apps seem to have redundant feature sets, like Audio Spectrum Visualizer, and then they have a, you know Spectrum Analyzer, then they have an RTA, then they have an FFT. But their RTA, which is what we just looked at, kind of has a lot of FFT settings and functionality. So yeah, let me know what you think of these apps. Uh, let me know what you think of this video if you want to see more of these mobile kind of quick, uh, quicker videos, although this has turned out to be way longer than my normal videos. So uh, that's what you get for not preparing. Thanks again to everybody who likes and subscribes and supports the channel on Patreon and by clicking in the affiliate links below. I don't have any software affiliate links, but I will link the gear I've used in this video down below if you're interested in supporting the channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with one of my regular videos.